Hey, can you close the door? I'm trying to work. I'm Andy Orsano, I'm a comic artist living in San Francisco. I kind of had this comic I did in college uh, and I uh, expanded upon it and created like a much larger series out of this simple idea. my main book, Life of Fetus, I want every character to have a nervous breakdown, you know, and then like rise out of it in different ways. When I work, my tendency is to create with comics these incomprehensible mazes. A lot of stuff I deal with in the comics is claustrophobia, just kind of like over stimulus, because I, I guess that's kind of how I feel. I'll go in to Emeryville and work for, you know, a nine hour day, and then I'll come back home and work till midnight or one o'clock on these other projects because they all seem to arrive at the same time. I'm so isolated because I work in my room a lot. I'll go to like a place like this place Atlas Cafe which has a nice patio uh, where you can get food and sit outside you know and be around people but not necessarily have to deal with them and I'll go there to work and every once in a while someone will get up and ask me what I'm doing and stuff and I, uh, usually it freaks me out because I'm like, I don't really want to talk to people, <laughs> which is bad, you know, like it's not a good thing. You know, I don't really know how to play theremin, I just kind of fiddle around and try to do what sounds right. <laughs> played in several bands. All those bands consist of maybe eight people all together and like seven bands or something like that. This is the Alternative Press Expo. Every year uh, in town, there's this big comic convention called Ape. I'm Shannon O'Leary, and I'm the editor and a contributing writer and illustrator for Pet Noir, an anthology of true crimes about animals, for which the fabulous Andy Ristano is going to be doing a story. I was just stopped dead in my tracks, and at the time, I was thinking about going to school um, for art, and he went to RISD. And about senior year, he had come in one more time, and I was like, wow, I think I want to go to art school. He stabbed me in the face with a pencil. I might still have a mark. Can you see the mark here? So Andy's like England, and I was like Gandhi. He was the older brother, and he was sort of uh, my, my idol, you know? Over the course of working, I've developed really serious, like, hand injuries and back injuries. I have two herniated discs in my lower spine and if I sit too long it really hurts. I have to do this to like release my spine and you slowly feel it snap into place. I kind of had to change my way of drawing at one point in time. I'll have nothing to do and be working on my own stuff and then uh, a job will come in I'll start working on that and then another job will come in and then another one. You know, I love what I'm doing so uh, you know, I guess that matters. <laughs>